It's Monday, December 10th, and this is the News on Cracked. I'm Lex Friedman, and I'm Spartacus. Oprah Winfrey joined Barack Obama several times over the weekend for campaign rallies to help improve Obama's standing with African American voters. There it is, folks. That's the bell. Racism is officially dead in America. Congratulations, everyone. I'm, I'm really proud of us. A weekend ice storm across much of the United States has left a host of issues in its wake. Flight delays, power failures, and of course, several cases of rock-hard nipples. The journal Nature Neuroscience reports that scientists have discovered a way to turn homosexuality on and off by manipulating fruit fly genes. It's not clear yet whether the insect research has any application to human fruits gene flies. That's a thinking man's story, ladies and gentlemen. The Hollywood writer's strike will continue into 2008, sources say. With comedians like Jon Stewart, Stephen Colbert, Conan O'Brien, Craig Ferguson, Jay Leno, and David Letterman all still off the air, we here at the News on Crack remain the only people making unfunny jokes about the news. Oh, this just in, the Writers Guild of America claims that its members have collectively had sex with all the spouses of the studio heads, even the dead ones. That ought to hold them for a while. <laughs> CNN.com today discovered the worst picture of Al Gore in history. That's it for today's edition of the News on Crack. Check back Tuesday, or I'm raising gas prices again.